Hi, my name is Thayer Period, and here's how I remade the beat to New Turban by Yeet, originally produced by Misagi, Ginseng, and Bugs Ronin. First thing I remade was this pluck. Huge shocker, I remade this in serum, and here's how it sounds with no effects. Nothing super duper crazy going on here. For both of our waveforms, we just have saw waves. Uh, it doesn't say saw wave right now, but these are saw waves. Um, but the main thing going on is I just have our bend minus warping mode selected. I have our bend minus at minus 87% uh, and minus 72% on our oscillator B. You'll notice our oscillator B is pitched down an octave from our oscillator A. That is just to provide a lower layer to our sound. The level of that oscillator B is also turned down to 12% because I didn't want it to be a super loud layer. And as you can also see, there are four voices of unison on both of our oscillators, but I turned the detune amount down to 0.05, just so it had a little bit of a thicker sound than just the generic saw wave. Next thing I added very important was a low pass filter because this is way too bright. I have our cutoff around 290 hertz, and I'm using our envelope one to modulate that cutoff. Decent amount of resonance, and this shape for our volume envelope, slash the envelope that is controlling the low pass filter. We are also set to mono and legato, but there is no portamento, just so there is no note overlap. Then for effects, I started by running it through a soft clipper, just to beef it up a little bit, followed by a chorus with our mix at 64%. As you can hear, that kind of adds a nice level of width to it. I always love the default serum chorus, such a good sound. Followed by just an EQ kind of cutting some low end and boosting our high end. Then another low pass filter to kind of get rid of some of that extra high end I added. That's kind of counterintuitive, but my workflow is not the most sensical thing of all time. <laughs> Next, I just added delay and reverb. And yeah, that is our plot. Next thing I added was this ambient kind of sound. Chalker again, I made this in Serum. Here's how it sounds with no effects. Again, nothing super crazy. We have two triangle waves, both with a decent amount of unison and the tune, just to make them nice and wide. Got a low pass filter, uh, it is not being modulated, as you can see, it is just standing still, just to kind of get rid of some extra high frequencies we have. And as you can see, also our oscillator B is pitched down an octave to provide an extra lower layer to our sound. We have a nice gentle fade in for our envelope one with a little bit of release, just so it has a nice kind of like nothing, no abruptness to the sound. It has a gentle fade in and a nice little bit of a cutout. For effects, I just started by running it through a multiband compressor to clean it up. Followed by a flanger. Just gives it a little more movement. And then just an EQ cutting out all our extra high and low end. Finally, just added a delay and reverb. Just to make it nice and spacey and ambient. And yeah, that is everything for that sound. Next, I added our 808s. Super beefy 808. Just using this plug 808, but there is a decent amount of processing uh, making it sound super fat. That's how it normally sounds. That's what the processing. I just started by adding a camel crusher on it. You can see I started with the annihilate preset, but I kind of tweaked everything, turned the mix down a bit. Followed by just a sausage fattener with our settings like this fatness at 10%, color at 16%, again to just boost it. Oh, and there's also a kick layered in with that 808. Next, I added our drums. hat pattern is uh interesting i've never seen anything like it really it's cool i actually i like it a lot i think it has a nice kind of a. it's almost like a melody and that like you can like hum it almost it's like you know it's like it adds like a distinct sound to the beat i think it's cool just using these two claps this disney hi-hat then lastly i added our bell just as you bell. oh yes also the producer tag I'm gonna do a very abridged version of this because I think I've talked about it a bit in the past before. 
before. But uh, for the actual tag, this is a, my friend recorded this for me. I'll play the raw audio. Bags running, he can run it up. Then I just did an absolute shit ton of processing. <laughs> I started by adding a noise kit with a guitar rig. Then I super heavily auto-tuned it, but I shifted the format in auto-tune. Bags running, he can run it up. With the throat length. Then I used a little Alter Boy to pitch it up an octave, but I shifted the formants down. Bags running, he can run it up. Then I added a super heavy OTT uh, with our depth at 71%, boosted our high end, our mids, and our lows. Bags running, he can run it up. An EQ to cut out the extra low end. Bags running, he can run it up. Then just a delay and a reverb. Bags running, he can run it up. To make that like reverse reverb sound, essentially what you do is you take your tag, you bounce it down to audio, you reverse it, you add a reverb and a delay on the reversed version of the tag, then you record that and unreverse it. I will show in another video how to do that. I've talked about it a bit before in the past, but I just unfortunately don't really have time right now. Yeah, that is everything. If you want access to the serum presets from this remake or the project file or the one shot version of the serum presets for everyone who doesn't have serum or from any of my 200 plus other remakes, you can get access to that on my Patreon at patreon.com slash prodplayerperiod. It is the best way to support me and help me to continue to do these remakes along with the best way to get some new sounds for a very, very reasonable price. Uh, new ones added like a couple times a week and there's over 500 serum presets on there right now as of today. So yeah, I hope that was interesting and educational and informative and I will catch you next time. Peace.